the sports. It's not the last game between those teams, but last game of the third week of Major League, right? So it's gonna be Utopia versus Panda Sports, and the caster that fell asleep with the music blasting in his ears. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> the first map is gonna be Prokhorovka. Utopia is gonna defend, and Panda is gonna attack. It seems, it seems it's gonna be a really fast game. At least it's going to be some fast action. I'm not going to introduce the teams right now. So Penta being really aggressive, trying to cross here through the middle, hoping to catch someone off, but no luck. Raging Potato. The sack of potatoes uh, is down to 450 HP. Raven taking a lot of damage, though. And yeah, there's going to be a real shootout. Beach is going to be focused. By the whole of Pentabot, a lot of return damage, Vale and New Multi Show really low on HP, Raven peeking out trying to, to protect his team, it's a bit by drawing the attention now, free tanks low on HP, we saw Raging Potato die on the northern side and Penta is in a lot of trouble, Utopia spread so good uh, that a Penta couldn't really focus anyone that important, uh, they only managed to kill Bichu which was there with an E5 up on the front line. Raven now on 50 HP, uh, Vale is on 14, oh, looking really bad for Penta Sports now, and Utopia uh, knows they're on the, they're, um, they're, what did I want to say, my god, my brain is not working, I'm farting through my brain, um, Utopia knows they're, they have the advantage and they do want to use it to make money though, take some damage, Got some money, 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 make money, money, money. Um, yeah, Penta is like focused down to the south side. They're trying to create some distance between themselves and most of the Utopia team. They do have Raven and Vala up on the hill. Together they have 64 HP. <laughs> but they have two working guns, which is, I guess, more important. Uh, it's still not one, though. Like, it's one for one trade. Penta has better guns in the game, but still, like, Utopia has so much HP lead, it's 2.3, 2.6k, why they say 3, Jesus Christ, shoot me in the face. <clears throat> but yeah, Utopia is just... Uh... And when they were in the lead, I never saw them throw away that lead. So far, like, since I'm casting them, like, and that's only be that's only been, like, a few games so far. So, I didn't really pay much attention to gold series and stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah, McMoney takes another shot. Mayland is playing really aggressive, trying to to do some 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 work here, but it's really risky. He's uh, him and Killer Pit are the only guys that have some decent HP. That zone does have as well, but he's in the TVP. Basically, any part of his tank that is shown is gonna get penetrated by the the Utopia. Utopia firing squad, and that zone takes an undershot. Did he drop? What? TDZ, mate. It's the dead zone style, man. He's playing dead. He's in the dead zone. It's like he's not even there. He's playing dead. It's like she's like to lure to lure them in, to lure them in. Jesus Christ, man. It's not a bear, it's Utopia. You don't play dead against Utopia. Okay, that zone's back. Nice to... So, Yelki... Yeah, they're probably gonna focus him now. Killer Pit is going to spot him, but... Yeah, Yelki didn't really overextend, which is smart. He's just playing really safe on, on, on the northern side. Penta did spread out, which enables them to kind of negate the the lack of tanks they still have in action but losing raven did hurt though up on that hill he was supposed to be you were the chosen one he was supposed to be that that uh, a firepower additional firepower that will uh, support uh, penta tanks there still have some hp left so papa Pavia and Vielki are gonna go up north the killer pit is there um, as he said, there's still one guy on the hill. While he's there, dead zone can also support him you know, decently, but 
yeah, we'll see. We'll see how how this goes on. It's, like, it's still not over, but uh, Utopia has to be really ballsy and really misplay hard in order in order to lose this. So no spots here so far. Do 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 da. Miller's on the middle. Just uh, everyone's like, yeah, oh, we got this. Like Utopia don't care. They're defending, they don't wanna push in and lose because they know Penta spread out and uh, they're gonna have them their uh, high DPS, 10 DPM tanks with low HP out in, in the back so they don't want to risk anything Miller's firing some blind shots towards the general area where the Penta Esports tanks were located Man, it's just such a slow, slow game at this point, man. It started really fast, so now I can introduce the players. The dead guy! Raven HR, driving his STB. Killer Pit and Mayland in Objects 140. Vale and Dead Zone in TVPs. New Multi Show in the bat chat. And Raging Potato in this corpse that once was the RU. Uh, for the other side, Milos driving his E5s, his E5s, Jesus Christ, his E5, being really ballsy here in the middle. So, uh, Muka and Papa Pavin in STB, and uh, they were joined by Bichu as well, but Bichu got wrecked in the beginning of the game. Shuku driving the bad chat, we've seen him do wonderful things in the bad chat, we've seen him fail really hard in the bad chat. Gelki. Uh, driving the TVP and make money, money, money in that RU. He's always driving the RU. <laughs> so Malin's taking some damage, then Malin taking a lot of damage. Papa does take a shot in return, but it doesn't matter at this point. Three minutes left on the clock. New multi show is up there in the mountains. Run to the hills. Run for your lives. If anyone knows the song, props to you. Donate five dollars. Thank you very much. <laughs> if you recognize the song, I'm gonna open the church, man. Like a Zmor's church. Oh, Dead Zone kills make money. Nice to. I don't know why. I don't know how. But okay. He, he could have just like gotten into a bush here and just spot whoever's crossing, or like stand here in the bush and just here and just spot whoever's crossing this. I don't know why he was driving around like a maniac, but still, you know, it's okay, it's okay. So, oh, Mayland tracking Milosh, but not doing much yet. He did enable Vale to fire some shots, but Jesus Christ, there was a lot of shots flying his way. Maybe it was even a blow up because he did lose quite a lot of HP really fast enough. Uh, Penta, like, taking back some of the advantage Utopia has, or had at this point. Killer Pit is thinking about it, but it's not that dumb to go for it, since, since he knows that most of the Utopia team is behind. Now it's 1 minute 20 seconds on the clock, Penta Sports has to work really fast, Mayland is down to 15 HP. What, like, okay, we now need someone on 16 HP, that's like 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. 88 for though for dead zone. And he should die any moment now. Jesus, it did take quite a lot of time to kill him. Muka is a bit in the open. He has to move from there. Not the best position. And Shuku gonna come in, finish mailing off. Probably even Vale. Oh, nope, he doesn't see Vale. But it doesn't matter. Like, Killer Pit is trying to do something. Papa Pava and Vialki. Oh, new multi show is coming in. Vialki is still reloading. So Vialki is gonna fall down, but new multi shot is gonna fall him as well. Killer Pit can't finish Papa Pavian in one shot. So Papa Pavian should finish him instead if he doesn't screw something up. And he doesn't. And that's game one for Utopia. Shuku is like the main guy to rush in three tanks that are down to one shot and just finish him off. Why is everyone adding me? Is this some kind of joke? They're trolling me, man. Oh my god. 
Oh, I'm gonna call you names on stream. I love your streams. I love them as well. <laughs> Why do you have to be such a dick? Yellow stream, do you like Utopia? Oh, they don't. They like Wale. Critters. <laughs> Oh my god, so Utopia is <laughs> leading one of, oh wait, I need to see, oh god, I'll be back. Oof, that was close. My girlfriend should be home any second now, and uh, I, I locked, like, we have, like, two locks, so I locked the wrong one, like, the one, the, I, only I have the key to that lock, and it's, there, there, uh, 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 it's, like, there's one key for that lock, and it's always, like, the one we lock it when we're inside, because it's, like, impossible to unlock it from, from, if you don't have a key. It's really hard. You have to be, like, next level thief to do it. And then there's the other one, like the standard lock, and like we both have that key. So I accidentally locked the the tricky lock. <laughs> so if she, if she would to come back in the middle of the game, you just hear a lot of a uh, ringing, kicking the door, scraping and screaming in the background. <laughs> so it's better just to check it, you know, just in case, just in case. So we don't have that. Uh, Unpleasant trees, yeah. Clap the oh my god, guys. Rip internet. These jokes are so bad. Wow, really? Really, the jokes are so bad? What jokes, you scrub? Do you do you want to hear a joke? Your stats, your stats are a joke, Gomez. Your stats are a joke. That's why you're stuck watching Plepta and Pleptopia playing against each other. <laughs> yeah, the second, uh, second round of steps. It's um, Utopia on the attack at this point. Uh, IS4, two STBs, Batcha, two TVPs, object, object. Well, M4043. For Penta, it's an IS7, well, one STB, three Batchets, object 140. And an Oni. What Amorak? I guess he he he's he wants to survive long enough. What? Is there a bug that I'm not aware of? So he's gonna be covered, like if they start pushing this and get someone in the cap, someone can stand behind them and spot the cap. Because they have the SPG. No, they don't. The other side has the SPG. What the hell am I talking about? I don't get it, like these weird strands. So yeah, there was a push. I'm sorry, like yeah, I'm really fascinated by Onis today. So Mayland died in the meantime, he got wrecked by everyone from the hill plus the SPG. And Shuku did get some return damage uh, for, for, for uh, from Penta, but still, Utopia came out uh, positive in the trade. Like, they have the SPG and they have more HP, so go figure. Milos though in the middle with the optics, IS-4 with the optics, Tronco Spotter. Yeah, Shoku is just gonna be here on the hill spotting. We have some counter movement on the other side. That zone and Raven are pushing the two line. Uh, they're just gonna try and secure this part of the map, though. Chrome is really, really close to the edge. I mean, it's not like they're gonna come closer here, because this STB is gonna wreck them. Plus, they will take a lot of damage from the hill just approaching that area. 
So I don't think they're 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 keen on pushing. They are defending though, so they should just. I mean, they can't really just stick stick around somewhere, right? So Oni basically useless at this point. It's like just putting someone in the camp, so so they can so they can camp behind it, make it a rock. Jesus Christ, this game is so weird. It, it's so Penta taking an Oni, and it's really funny that another team I used used that Oni better than they did right now. <laughs> Yeah, but honestly, I think that Oni was supposed to be like uh, a cover for someone to come in and reset the camp, or just keep the camp spotted. I don't know, something, something, something dark side. Anyway, Oni firing a blind shot towards the hill. I don't think he landed it, but still, uh, yeah, he didn't. Their YouTube is just running away from you. Okay, this I, I really like this. They're gonna rotate. They're gonna push another, uh, push the other side. Muka is spotted. He's taking damage now. They know there's a few tanks from. Penta here, but they also know that there are a few things of Penta are trapped in the north and they're probably gonna try and use the the fact that uh, Penta is so split up and I don't think Penta is expecting this because they don't really look like they're expecting this Shoku is low on HP. He's gonna uh, Gonna try and come here and hug this part of the hill uh, as to not get wrecked and the others are moving a bit more uh, a bit deeper than he is so they are spotted. Oni is spotting everything right now, so Oni is being being useful. Did fire a shot, I think he landed with Milos for some minor damage, but Shuku being shot by that zone Raven. Can they finish him off? Raven does finish him off, but he is spotted and takes a lot of damage in return. He's down to two shots. <laughs> nice shot, Grom. Nice shot. Uh yeah, Utopia is just gonna push forward. Dead zone is alone. And there's just the Penta's reaction is really slow. Killer Pit is just now approaching middle with new multi show, and Vale is uh, up on the north. Uh, Dead Zone is cut off from everyone, but they didn't go to check that side, which is weird. So Raven survives. A new multi show finishes off Grom, of course, because Grom was like, basically left undefended. Kurpa Duper. Honestly, it'd be much better if he actually just stayed here instead of moving across the across the field. So dead zone gonna be found by Utopia. It's just how much damage is gonna be done to these two tanks? Not much, really. They did take Bichu took one shot, Papavian took two shots, and now it's looking really good for Utopia. They are in attack though. Four minutes, forty seconds till the end, but they have like three. Uh, HP advantage, a bit under 3k HP advantage to Penta, uh, and they have that Ice Ford is just gonna be a monster. Like put them, put itself somewhere and just be a buffer for rest of Utopia. Especially with that, uh, with that optics, it's gonna be able to spot. Uh, it's gonna be able to spot everyone. Oh, it was set on fire! <laughs> oh my god, much food on that tank, Jesus Christ. Yeah, Killer Pit doing a lot, a lot of work here with that, with that setting on fire. Yeah, Val is still full HP. I mean, it's not gonna be easy for you to open, especially with that IS4 losing like... 1k HP for nothing, just for being set on fire. So Yelki is gonna push in, he is the full HP. And he's gonna be a bit annoying here. So Raven, really smart, already moved all the way back. Just in case, because he's really on HP. And it's Yelki's job now here to keep everything spotted. Papa Pavian is in the cab. Milos gonna be in his position. It's not like S4 is easy to kill in any case. So we'll see how this works. I'm ex like Vale and new multi show. They really have to do something. Oh my God! A push towards Vale. They're just—they don't care. They know they have more HP and more tanks. They just want to finish this game. And it—not you know, a favorable trade when it comes to HP. But they did kill 
the only guy who has full HP on the side of Penta. Now it's gonna be really hard. Nimo to show is gonna try and push middle, but he got shot from two sides. And he did miss his first shot, which, which means Muka is gonna fire another one. Killer Pit will soon follow his teammate in the halls of Valhalla. And now he's down to one shot. Raven can't really help him with the whole team of Utopia following him now. Pichu finishes him off. Raven all alone against whole Utopia. Can this guy pull it off? Can he pull it off? He fires and fires. And fires! He can't seem to land the shots and penetrate everything. Yeah, this, he's just gonna give up. Come on, Raven. Yeah, he's still firing. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around. He's actually gonna run around. Don't run around! Don't give up, man. Just go kill them all. You can do it. Fire your nukes, man. Fire, fire, fire them lasers. It's a really nice tank. It's a French tank. Will you wave my baguettes around? And the mere peasants in the Czech and, and, and Russian tanks will run to the baguettes and I will shoot them. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> style points guys, style points, seriously, we need style points, that was, that was style. Wow, beat you 4.4k damage, 16, 16, 15, that's some, that's some nice shooting there. Your multi-shot did a good job, but this wasn't enough, man, the raging potato, the sack of potatoes, man. He's a potato. Yeah, uh, Grom just splashed the dice 7 in the beginning and then later on maybe splashed someone else a bit, but that's about it. He did his job though. And Pichu carrying, man. Carrying so hard. Utopia is leading too, I didn't really expect this. Chance spam Kappa 1, 2, 3. Let's see your stats. Ooh, ooh, a reroll. Oh, driving E50M, yes, I'm a standard hero, look at me. Hoopa doopa 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 I have 15k games and I have only 70 tens. Doopa 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 Oh, I love spamming gold in random. Oh, I'm so good. I'm driving Crovel to have Crovel and Hellkit to have better stats. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, ho. Uh, 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 <laughs> see, Utopia is leading 2 0. Jesus. We also almost lost one round. Wow. Scraps. Um. <laughs> oh, I love calling people names in stream. <laughs> Yeah, Utopia is playing exceptionally well. I I don't I just I just, <laughs> I didn't expect this honestly. I'm I'm, I'm surprised. Penta has been playing playing good recently. Uh, but yeah, Penta's known to lost the first few to lose the first few games and then just come back. So yeah, we'll see if Penta comeback is real. So it's gonna be ghost town. Ooh, sounds so spooky. Sounds so spooky. Man, four two one five bees, Batchet, a Waffen Trigger, and the four sixteen. I think I've seen, I've seen, I, th I think Utopia played four sixteen the last time we casted, I cast them, 
against. Uh, I think they played out of range. Fire nukes. <laughs> okay, <they> have... <laughs> oh god, I wish I can see the chat at this point. Okay, let's start with the serious side. So Utopia is playing with four two one five Vs, a Waffle Trigger Batch, and a four sixteen. As I already said, they did play a four sixteen the last time around when they played attack on on uh, on Ghost Town, and they did really well with it. On the other hand, Penta. He's playing with two 215Bs, two Walfen Traegers, a Batchet, and two M54 55s. Now, I don't know how 54 55s work, but I do know that when I uh, played two Batchet RD, they they won. They won with two Batchet RD. Two Batchet tier 9. Okay, first SPG firing did a lot of jet damage. Can we see the second one? Can we see the second one? Then they have to move south now. Malin is gonna get bomb rushed by these 215 bees. Run, Malin! Run! Oh, Malin, you survive. It's all good. But they're still coming. And there's that zone and Vale coming in from the left side. They're gonna try and flank them. They took the bait. Utopia took the bait. They're now gonna get fired by Waffen Trigger. Batchet, another Waffen Trigger. Uh, FE215B, two, two SPGs, this is like a... Oh my god, this is a killer pit! <laughs> no, they're gonna get wrecked, seriously, man! This this is like... Uh, this is like, you see this and you're like, oh man, this is a free win, look at this. 215B all alone here, let's rush him and win the game, but no! But no! Oh my god, this is brilliant! Like, they only like, yeah, we're gonna kill this guy here, yeah! And then they get shot from here, from here, from here, from here. But these two guys are like, yay! <laughs> Give more free shots, please. Now Mook is being chased down by new multi show what he's reloading. <laughs> oh, that SPG. More damage, please. Shuku is not gonna try and kill multi show while new multi show is reloading. Oh, man. Uh, can you move the show out of the way? Ah, oh, nice shooting by Shoko. Well done, my friend. Nice RNG. May the RNG gods be with you. Now, RNG potato. Can RNG potato land this shot? Or killer pito? Someone? No one? Yeah, cap, cap, cap or lose, man. So Raven is still full HP. Dead zone did die, so but we're we're used to that. Dead zone dying. Fires one or two shots and then dies and then his team wins. And he's like, yeah, man. Yeah. We got this, yo. It's, it, it's the strat. This, uh, this was crazy. Oh man. Yeah, no, <laughs> Bino won the drone fame. Oh, <laughs> bastard. Trots fired, man. Yeah, this was weird. 
I, I can't really say anything about the game. Oh man. I just I I'm Oh man. <laughs> Again, <only. laughs> I was expecting something crazy like this. Oh Jesus Penta. I can't, I can't, seriously. This this is too much. This is just too much. So, um, Utopia defending this time around with an E100, E215B, Waffen, Trigger, Batchet, and two Conquerors. So here we have a standard lineup. And on the other side we have four 215Bs for Penta, two Batchets, and an Oni. Look at that thing, man. It's like two 215Bs stacked one, 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 one on another, like standing on, on each other's heads. Woo! Shuku got spotted and uh, nice damage. No SPGs this time around. Penta, I'm disappointed. So both teams are gonna go towards uh, well between cap number two and cap number one. Okay, that zone is gonna be rushed. And this time there is no two Waffen triggers and two SPGs to cover him. But he didn't suffer much damage. Mainland, on the other hand, did take a big hit there. Shuku again. Oh my god. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, new multi show. Missed. Raven did, he did land his shot, but new multi show missed his, and uh, that enabled Shuku to run away. Now, new multi show did take some damage in return from Yelki. And here comes the rush from Utopia. These four tanks are all alone. Pale is up here on this little hill. Papa Pavian, Milos, Pichu, and McMoney are pushing in, but Dead Zone is there to provide some uh, some crossfire. New multi is gonna reload soon and be able to join this fight. Killer Pit is gonna go down any second now. McMoney dead, killed by Pichu and Vale now hiding behind his uh, his enemy's corpse. New multi show does have the back of the E100 and the and the 215B, but the bounce like Milos and and Vielki bounce these shots. A nice, nice new multi show finds the 215B. He has to pull back now, or he's gonna pay severely. He has to reload Raven. I think should reload as well, or no? Raven actually still has shots left. So he's gonna try and kill Shuku over here. Oh my God. Yep, he did kill Shuku now. Bichu, Milos, and Muka against Vale, New Multi Show, and Raven. The health heavily in Utopia's advantage. They have like 50% more HP. They have the E100 that can one shot Vale, or what's left of him. Huge misplay there from Vale. Raven, though, who tries finishing off Muka, but is killed by Bichu instead. And New Multi Show trying to shoot at Milos's side, but. Uh, not much success. What the hell's going on with Batchet? Another bounce from a Waffen Trigger? Seriously? Three shells going towards a new multi show only. Okay, four shells went towards new multi show, only one penetrated. E100 and the Waffen Trigger first had critical hits, then the Waffen Trigger had a ricochet off of this Batchet. 
What the hell is going on? He hit here! It ricocheted. And finally, Bichu managed to man manage it. Strong English is more, please. Nice you. Uh, this Bichu in the end managed to penetrate him. Oh man, this is like these matchups are like they should be Russian tanks, judging by by the RNG they have. Comment. <laughs> Hulk's comment. Jesus Christ, man, are you crazy? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, new new multi straw is gonna have a hard time. If you know what I mean? I think Miller's actually spotted him. Yep, and did. So Beach is gonna come out here and bang bang. Yep, new multi straw down to one shot. And it's mission impossible. Or not really. He's gonna like, oh he knows Miller she's coming out. Can he kill him? Eh! Uh, no. Oh look at Muka. <laughs> Stealth Muff and Trigger. Can he finish off Milos? No! Oh, critical hit, but he went just a bit too far and got killed by Bichu. If he finished off Milos and then killed Muka, <laughs> it would have been really fun to watch this. But this way, not really. My father one. Yeah, Pichu, 5k damage. Seriously, Pichu is carrying these games too hard. Carrying these games too hard. What a player, man. What a player. Yeah, raging, raging sex, sack of potato. 850 damage. The derp gun. The derby gun is real. Oh, it looks like it was the him who hit Shuku. Or maybe he, he hit Muka or someone. He didn't really Ah maybe he hit Muka, yeah. Waffen trigger is not the <laughs> it's not the best thing to 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 be shot but by, by H E. There's more can you answer? Answer what? I'll shoot you in the face. So Utopia three one on the ground. Yeah, nice bait. <laughs> really? Really? You think? Jesus Christ, Strakish. Oh man, this is like. Start flash mob. <laughs> Funk, what, what color was the absent you drunk? <laughs> I'm not Hulk. I'm not. God, I'm reading chat more than I'm actually <laughs> casting. Hulk is good guy. Please, Hulk, please. <laughs> oh my god, man. This is just... This is just this is crazy. Never give up. Yeah. So, with mine, is gonna be our third map. Utopia leading 3-1. Yeah, and only... The only time Panta won was when they played something completely crazy if it's semi crazy you know using an Oni or Oho or whatever then they lose but if it's completely crazy then they win so guys go cray cray <laughs> I'm so cool cray cray um yeah so mine's Utopia is gonna defend which means they're starting on the southern side and they're taking two T10s and two 113s so that means they're probably going to try and push middle two TVPs and one bad chat. I'm expecting like one bad chat to go toward the island. 
want TVP to stay behind uh, to support the middle and the island. Maybe the other TVP go island as well. We don't know. We'll see. Penta no double RT no win. I'm sorry. So Penta is going to play with two 113s, uh, an E5, two TVPs, a Batchet, and an RU251. And since they don't have two SPGs, or not even one for that matter, I don't think they can win. Because without two SPGs, they can't win. It's impossible. <laughs> Hulk, man. Just... I can't read the chat. I'm gonna. I, I I turned off the second screen. I can't. I can't, man. No, you're you're just you're you're just an imbecile at this point. <laughs> oh God, punish me. I'm a bad boy. Okay, so Utopia is gonna push the hill. Yeah, these two DVPs, <laughs> bashes of Utopia and Penta are both gonna go towards the city. New move to show and Shuku should. Uh, have a shootout here, 113s for Penta climbing up the hill as well as basically everyone from Utopia up here and almost everyone from Penta. We see Raging Potato flanking from behind. Penta is actually holding out so far. Even trades, but that zone is really low on HP. Ooh, Milos takes a hard hit to the face. Raven gets killed. Okay, that's not something you plan. Raging Potato finally summoned turns to shoot him, but in but in the trade, they do lose two tanks, and yeah, Panthers are looking really good in this um, in this trade. Mac Money is going to be focused by Dead Zone Killer Pete because Vale is reloading. Mayland finishes off Milos, and these three tanks are basically like fish in a barrel, just waiting to get wrecked by shotgun to the face. And Shuku lost. Shuku's locked down to one shot by new multi show. Took only one shot from him, so yeah, huge win uh, in in bat versus bat. Shuku wants revenge, but he's not gonna get it. He gets killed by raging potato. Potato, potato, banana, potato. <laughs> so Penta finally showing some signs of life. Three, two. Guys, don't who who like. I'm gonna remove everyone as as a mod. You can't touch Hulk, man. Hulk is Hulk is. Yeah, I expected something crazy, man, from Penta, but no, not really. That way, they went with kind of a standard setup, and uh, they did end up winning. So, yeah, luck lucky, lucky that they didn't just give up, because I really thought they're gonna give up. It seemed like that. It really did seem. So Utopia are now attacking on mines, and if Penta wins, this is going to be free free, which means we're up for an interesting map for. But if Utopia wins the attack, it means we're up for an even more interesting map for. Uh, so, forty seconds to the start. Two free TVPs, two 113s, Batchet and an RU. So a bit lighter on the heavies, a bit heavier on the mediums, because that makes sense, right? I'm really just see what they're gonna do. Are you gonna try and push the hill again? Or are they gonna have like one or two on the island? I'm 
I'm so rude. I'm rude. This more rude. This <laughs> more rude. Yeah. Okay. So again, kind of the standard set. I'm disappointed, Penta. Okay, they do have a waffle, so that's something, right? So Penta's gonna play with a waffle. An STB, two objects, 142 TPs, and an M4043. So this is gonna be gonna be kind of interesting. I'm really interested to see what the waffle does. It can do a lot. It can do nothing. But since it's driven by Vale, then you know there is a shot. If it was driven by this guy, then <laughs> I'd I'd say Penta would lose. But this way, Vale, much much more viable of a player for that. For that, for that role. Um, not saying that zone is bad. He's just better than Valem. Um, so new multi show gets spotted driving towards the only gets shot in the sides. Lucky for him, he didn't die though, or he didn't get tracked as well. If he got tracked, that would have been he. So Penta base camp, strong base camp. Wally is going to be here like, just waiting for someone to accidentally stroll his way. Raven driving on the hills. Looks like he's a mountain goat. And then there's Raging Potato behind. So Raven is a mountain goat. So he can spot the middle actually, easily. What? Give me Shuku. Give me Shuku, give me fire, give me Jabba Jabba Zai. Yeah, Shuku didn't hit new multi even once. Not even once, bro. And I think he can spot Raven and not get spotted in return. Because Raven can't really spot through the bushes. And I think Raven spotted since he turned back uh, behind that rock. And Shuku's now just gonna wait for Raven to peek, I guess. Shoot and move away. And yeah, it's gonna be a really slow, methodical game from now on. You move to show. He's going to push a bit forward for Penta just to get some information on what's going on. They are expecting Utopia to be on the island. Um, with, you know, with logic. What's, why would you expect, like, logic? Just logic. Ooh, like money. It's a shot. Luckily, he did not die. Can he hit new multi show? No, he didn't track him. If he tracked him, it would have been much, much easier to get rid of him now. Yelki hitting B2. Uh, lucky didn't, they didn't take any more damage. There's a, a push from 113 coming in. Milos doing a lot of work. Uh, distracting these two guys. Shuku and Muka did finish off the dead zone. Imagine if that was a Waffen trigger now. Oh my god, I'm such a bastard. Um, yeah, it's, 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 I don't know. I just. I just like what Utopia is doing at this moment. It's still not over, of course. Waffen and Trigger can't turn this tide uh, in, in their favor, but it just. Raven is not in the fight. The only thing they can do now is just pray to God that Utopia pushes in with four tanks at the same time. The SPG wrecks them, and then Wale just finishes everyone off. And that's like the best thing they can hope for. But they're gonna wait. Utopia will force Shuku to reload. And unload in their bags. Killer Pit being shot in the ass and being killed by Shuku. Nice proxy spotting from the rest of his team. And now it's just Raven, Vale, and Raging Potato. Can these three star players finish the game for their team? Or it's gonna be 4 2 for the Utopia. Going into the fourth map. Yelki's gonna come in, try and proxy spot a Veil. Will Bail be proxy spotted or not? Yeah, he just spotted Papa Pavian. Two shots towards him. Not much, just two. He didn't want to go overboard. Four shots towards him. Jesus, he just landed everything. So Vale is not really low on HP. Shuku shooting him in the ass. And Milos finally finishing off. Shuku though takes a shot from Raven. Can Raging Potato hit Shuku from there as well? Nope. So Raven taking some extra damage. Yeah, it's pretty much GG. They can just have that RU in the cap, control whoever's left there, and or they can just bomb rush them. At this point, doesn't doesn't really matter. 
So Raven gonna take some extra damage. Should die any 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 second now. Any second. Boom boom boom. Yep. Boom boom. Raven dead. Raging Potato all on his own. Get up guys, get up. Let let him let him let him wreck you. Let him wreck you. Yep, Raging Potato gets wrecked. Gets wrecked. Nobody from Utopia dying. So yeah, like I just really passive from Penta. They basically left the whole map to Utopia. And it kinda cost them the game. They really, really poorly played by Penta. I don't know why they were so passive. Cause I mean they did show last game that like just going head to head with with Utopia, they did pull out ahead. Head head ahead. Yay. Nice vocabulary. So profound. Uh, yeah, they, they won that basically straight up shootout with with Utopia. Now they decided to be passive and camp. I don't understand that, but okay, okay. I mean, I I said it in the beginning of the first week. We're gonna see some weird things because people are gonna be trying out some different strats and all. But I mean, you know, it's, it's not like you wanna lose. You still wanna win. So their match is gonna be restarted. Not restarted. Man. Yeah, go hard versus oops. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be. Oh, f whatever. Seventh round is gonna be restarted. So I think we're actually gonna be done before them, even though they started first. He's fun! He's not insulting anyone. Come on! You can't really ban him. He's not insulting anyone. If he starts insulting people, just time him out for like 5 minutes. And second time he starts insulting you, time out for 15. And if he comes back third time, says anything, you just straight up ban him. Just don't ban him the first time. I see Butchak! Hello Butchak, my friend! Oh my god, why do people think I'm on drugs? I'm not! I'm not! I should be, but I'm not! Because I'm poor. Yep, 15 more seconds. Uh, Murovbanka. Nice map, nice Kampu map. Actually, a really nice map for Penta to try something out. Like free SPGs, for example. I think that would work. Free SPGs. I want to see free SPGs. No, they're just gonna... I'm disappointed. I'm really disappointed, Pentam. You got me hyped up and now you're disappointed. The, 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 you're, you have such a big fan base and now you disappoint. Shame on you, Penta. Shame on you. So Utopia is gonna attack. Which gives Penta a bit of a fighting chance, though. Uh, they have to win both of these games if they want to go to overtime and uh, to have everything decided on the ninth map. But we still have two games of Muravanka to go, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll see if Penta can actually do it or they cannot. Are they gonna crumble under pressure? Utopia attacking with two 215Bs, one E5. A Bachat driven by Shoku. Who else? TVP driven by the Alki and oh another branch at by Bichu because this is the correct order. And then we have Grom Hellscream in his M4043. On the other side we have Penta rushing forward, wanting to meet Utopia head on and create an advantage. This is weird, this is so Penta like. 
that it just might work. They're playing this with three objects, one forty STB, two batchets, and an RU. The dead zone is having a shootout with Bichu, but supported by all of his teammates, he will come up ahead in this team fight. The E5s, Papa and Milos. Oh my god, the E5 and the 215Vs, Papa Milos and Muka, they try to finish off that zone, but they kind of overextended. Muka is taking a lot of damage. He's being focused by Heron from Penta and he goes down. Shuku is going for the flanking maneuver. Grom did fire a nice shot towards Killer Pit. I think that was partly Grom's doing. Shuku finds a sweet, sweet spot here to the side of Penta, trying to kill off Vale. If he finishes him off, this is going to be huge. Has to finish off Vale and Raging Potato. Then he can reload safely. Utopia is standing strong. These heavies are still alive and uh, well, relatively healthy since Papa is down under half HP. Penta playing really aggressive, but can they overcome this? Ooh, Vielki being set on fire. This can actually really hurt them. The dead zone is coming in from around. Ooh, new multi show finishes off Shuku before Shuku can do anything more. Dead zone misses his, misses his shot. Yelki should reload any second and he can kill off dead zone. The SPG now has to land a perfect shot. I don't think that was good enough. He did like 500 damage to Raven. That should have done more. Papa Pavin is out to one shot. Raven is uh, not gonna risk it. Oof, that was close. But Raven will reload faster so he can finish, it, finish off Papa. But it wasn't necessary. Malin actually stepping up and finishing off that E5. The pesky E5. Milos now all alone, supported by his SPG pal, trying to do something to resist the the Penta onslaught. This is just perfect. Two tanks dead for Penta. Everyone else splits HP evenly, and Grom is now all alone against basically five players of Penta. GG, well played. Penta with an aggressive strat full of mediums manages to stay in the game. It's four free. Oh, this was such a good match, man. <laughs> I thought at what point that they're going to lose, but they, yeah, they just proved me wrong. I can't really predict if Penta's gonna win or lose. It just, it's just not, not, not happening. It's just, it's impossible. It's impossible. 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 <laughs> nice, nice game. So Penta. Or free. Now Penta will be on the attack, so it's gonna be a bit more harder for for Penta to win. We'll see if they opt to be aggressive. I, I don't think they should be passive. We see them on mines being really passive, and <laughs> we all know how that works out. Um, so I think they're gonna be a bit more aggressive again and try and uh, you know just even score four four, maybe even. Win the series 5-4 in the end. Let's see what's the tiebreaker. Just quickly before um, before the game actually starts. There's like 40 seconds left. Why is there my email there? Why can people spam me with my with the email? What are you doing, man? Are you? Oh my God! I I hate you. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just looking. Um, you cliff. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be weird. Ah, it's gonna be really weird. So we're gonna see what Penta can do. Hmm. I we didn't have a tiebreaker yet today. We had like five frees, no tiebreaker. I don't think actually. Maybe I'm retarded. Maybe there was. So here we go. This is this can be a deciding match. Penta has to play this perfectly again. Oni, like, pfft. you know, we lost two times when we drove an Oni, but try it again. Like, why not? Obviously works. Uh, so Utopia is gonna defend with two E5s, two SCBs, a bad chat, the TVP, and the 3090. While Penta is gonna attack with an Object 140. Four batchets, a TVP and an Oni. I want to say three, but then I saw the fourth one up here, like right above Vale. I don't know why that happens. Why it gives me if if it's two batchets and two TPs, it's like batch a TP, batch a TP, like for some reason. For me, I fix this, please. Thank you. 
I know it's not his fault, but still, there's there's a general rule, guy in ESL, blame for blame for me. Uh, so Mac Money in his 39 is gonna stand this bush. Uh, not that standard bush. It was a standard bush uh, some time ago. Not anymore, but still, I think it's one of the first bushes that Penta is gonna try and shoot at if they get spotted. A new multi show here. Did lead the charge now? It's Killer Pit. Uh, new multi show Killer Pit, Melon, and Vale. Uh, are in the magic forest. Oni is right behind and I guess they're gonna put Oni in the camp and just put someone behind it Because it's gonna be really hard to reset at that point uh, That zone is probably spotted. It's really hard to shoot blind blind as a bad chat because you will need those shots later on So I guess TP could actually shoot blind or someone We'll see we'll see It's raging potato Driving really fast here. Try not to break a leg, man. Try to, yeah. Look at that engine burn. Just hear that. It's Japanese crafting. Came it came right out of anime. Nope, he's not. Well, okay. So Raven, yeah, they're they're controlling the middle as well. This is nice from Penta. Problem is they are attacking, so they have to do something sooner rather than later. So yeah, so we're gonna see some blind shooting here. Um, Valek could actually hit this bush. I don't think he actually knows that he can hit it because he sees this one and he's gonna shoot in this one probably. Cause this one's more standard at this point. Ooh, raging potato was spotted before he can get to the camp can he get to the angle oh my god he didn't get to the camp in time maybe he should have went all the way down there and like climb up here and like stand at this point but uh i think this is like half of their strat wasted he should have went all the way down here and like come up here and just get in the end angle of this camp like just come up here and get there and like let someone stand behind Oh man, I think this is like their strat went down the drain. Now they have to play standard with a tank class and with a spotter somewhere in the bushes. They have no clue where the spotter is. So melee taking some damage there. Object 140, not the best tank for this position because his turret can be penetrated a bit easier than the T62s. But yeah, that's. It's really hard to penetrate it when you're missing your shots. So Dead Zone is gonna drive forward, try and spot what's going on at this side. Shuku will have his his side though, but Dead Zone what? Shuku actually hit the middle of the house. Dead Zone playing safe for now. Oh Shuku's trying to hit Raven. Was Raven spotted? Yeah, he was tracked. Well, I actually didn't take any damage, lucky for him. Um yeah, it's weird at this point. Like, Penta is down like 3.5k 3, 3 HP. It's gonna be really hard for them. I. They, they actually have to make like a huge play. Oh my god, Killer Pit. Or Utopia. Oh, get wrecked, bro. Or Utopia uh, has to have like a huge misplay. Yeah, they did kill the lightweight, but. I like with the 3090, but there's still a batch at TP, two STBs and two E5s left for Utopia. They can just push down and start killing off Penta members one by one. Problem is, Penta really did spread out perfectly. Like, tank here, tank here, tank here, tank here. You know, there's this guy here, and there's the batch that can do something in the background. So, it's like, it's not that easy to just push into that and, and create an advantage. Because they are a bit spread out. Now Penta is gonna, and they're gonna be, well, they're gonna spread out. Like, they're not gonna group up. That's what I wanted to say. But Vala likes this building, so he just pulled back to a bit more, uh, to a safer position. And uh, yeah, he's gonna keep pulling back. Now these batchets are the first line of defense. Sounds weird, right? One batchet is in the cap and. As I said, Panthers is gonna spread out and make it really hard for Utopia to push in and uh, and kill them. Ooh, Shuku got spotted, Mailand. It's him, but Vala did uh, hit the gun of the tank and not didn't do any damage. So 
Yeah, oh, Raven getting shot. Yeah, okay, new multi shows in the camp. Like, there's blind shots coming towards this bush. It went a bit to the, to the side. Oh! It wasn't a critical hit, it was like we didn't penetrate the armor stuff. But they, he's not spotted, so they don't know they, they they actually hit him. It just didn't reset the cap. Okay, that was lucky for, for Penta if, if that reset the cap, I think they would just keep shooting. But now they're forced to push out, and that zone is gonna be caught here. And probably killed really, really soon. The, the the thing that he's the fact that he's alive is just a wonder in itself. And a lot of damage being dealt to Utopia in return. Uh, you know, Penta kind of reducing that HP advantage. They're forced to fire in the move now, but the Batchet during the new multi show and TVP by Valley have to uh, reload before they can take another fight. Vielki is going to push in first because he has the most HP. And Vale is pulling back. New multi show being caught in the open. Why was he standing at that spot like all the way in the open? I don't know, but oh, that was like the worst spot to be caught. And that's pretty much GG. Utopia just needs to bring this game home. Shuku and Vielki are focusing down Vale. Vale goes down. Killer Pit tried doing something. He's trying to help his teammate, but. Yeah, he is spotted at this point, I think, and these E5s are gonna go finish off Malin. Killer Pit forced to retreat. Malin pinned down behind this house, can't really move. Mila should finish him off with the next shot, and Killer Pit is just gonna be chased down relentlessly by the, the tanks of Utopia. And GG, GG. Yeah, I really like to see if this Oni actually made it to the cap. I think it was risky letting it pass through because this batchet here was spotted and everyone driving close was spotted. So that means that like the light tank was somewhere around. So they should have been a bit more careful with it, but yeah. Yeah, in the end just didn't work out. They did and at one point try you know, did strike back, but yeah, Raven did zero damage. Uh he did buy some time for his team and you know, a lot of damage was dealt while Raven was dying but still it just wasn't enough the batchets when they fire they have to reload and you know that tank that batch had been caught out in the open really didn't help Penta and yeah in the end GG it was just a 5-3 win for Utopia a lot of 5 threes today we didn't see a single uh, a single uh, or tiebreaker so yeah